my first thought when I was coming back to Seattle was that I'm excited for avocado toast. All right, so today we have a very exciting video. If you don't know, I was just in London. I documented everything on Snapchat and I have a whole vlog actually showing my experience in London with Burberry, which was unreal. Don't feel like I need to pinch myself that it actually happened. I literally just landed back in Seattle from London last night. It was like 4 a.m. London time, so I am 120% jet lagged right now. Don't know what day it is, don't know what time it is just living life and playing with makeup. But when I was in London, I obviously had to scope out the drugstores. So I went to Boots and Superdrug. I actually found 99% of this stuff at Superdrug. I went to the one on Oxford Street, which was huge. It was pretty picked through. So there was some stuff that I wanted to get that was just out of stock at the moment, but it still did pretty good. So here's my Superdrug bag. So this is just a first impression style video. I'm gonna be wearing this throughout the day so you guys can see how it holds up. If you're excited for this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up so I know. If you're new here, you can join the Bayrito family and subscribe. I upload Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 6 p.m. Pacific time. If you want to see how I got this look, you're in the right place. Just keep watching. It feels so good to be sitting down and filming today. I am stoked. I should get a hair clip. It's literally the morning after I got back from London. I am majorly jet lagged right now, but I'm actually, I feel like I'm on a high right now. I think I'm going to like hit a wall soon and totally crash, but I think I mostly have energy because, oh, there goes one. We're trying out a shit ton of makeup that I bought in London. My lips are actually super chapped right now, so I'm gonna try out this Carmex lip balm. I love Carmex, this is what I use every single night, but they had this leopard one there. I've never seen this in the States. This is the same exact formula as usual, it's just leopard, which makes it 20 times more exciting. There's nothing like a new lip balm to dig into. I have an Instacart grocery delivery coming right now, so we're probably gonna have to pause in a second. It's always nice when you have a little bit of a break and then can come back like re-energized and that's how I feel right now. So I picked up two different primers. One of them is more of a serum, but it says that you can use this as a primer. This is the Soap & Glory Fab Pore Three-in-One Oil Controlling Serum. Smooth, shine-free complexion, use on its own before your moisturizer or under makeup as a primer. I kinda wanna try this one, but I also got the Maybelline Superstay Makeup Extending Primer. I love Maybelline face products for the most part, so this one seemed promising to me but I think I wanna try out this one today. So we have Soap and Glory in Walgreens now in the US, but the selection in London doesn't even compare. We have like a tiny ass little wall in Walgreens, at least the one in Seattle, and in London they had two giant, huge, you know, like the long display things, two giant ones of those. So they just had a ton more products. It comes in this little squeeze tube thing. Probably could just put this on the center of your face, but it actually has more of like a lotion kind of consistency. It smells a little bit medicinal, which I like and it dries down very fast. Ooh, ooh, I like this finish. Yeah, it's drying into almost like a powder finish. Look how red my face just got. <laughs> my skin, by the way, right now is not love and life. I am breaking out all over the place in my hairline, down my chin. So I got two different foundations here to try. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do a foundation Friday on one of these, but I have the Collection Cosmetics Naturally Matte Foundation and then the Barry M Flawless Matte Finish Oil-Free Foundation. I'm feeling this one today. I don't know why, it's just kind of calling my name. So I've never tried anything from Barry M. I got this foundation and also a setting spray that we're gonna be using later. And actually I got a few other things from Barry M too. I tweeted you guys asking the best brands to try out and products to get. So some of this stuff is from Your Recommendations. It says it contains soothing moisturizers with skin healing properties for a flawless matte finish. I have the lightest shade. I'm gonna try it with the Sigma F80 first on this side of my face and then we'll probably use a sponge on the other side. Hair, you need to chill. Ooh. Whoa, okay, this has better coverage than I was expecting. And it feels very moisturizing going on. Right now it doesn't have a super matte finish. Looks more like a satin matte, but the finish looks really nice. I can't really see anything on my face. I think this shade works. It might be a little bit dark. It always looks different on camera. So I'm gonna use my Pure Cosmetics sponge on the other side of my face. Let's just see if there's a difference. I would say with the sponge and a brush, it's looking like high medium coverage. So I am gonna do a wear test in this video. Keep everything on for not my full 10 hours, but as long as I can. Tonight I'm going out to a dinner thing, so I might have to take off all of my makeup and redo it because I kind of want to do like an intense smoky eye today. So we're just going to play it by ear, but I do want to do some kind of wear test so you can see. What is this reminding me of? Almost of the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation. It has that really light kind of feel to it. The shade looks a bit too 
yellow for my skin tone. I'm gonna see if this is buildable, just use a tiny bit and go over some of my acne. I'm actually not getting a whole lot more coverage. I'm trying with the sponge again. It's not getting cakey or anything, but I don't think I'm getting a whole lot more coverage. So I wouldn't say that this one is buildable in the sense that you're gonna get more coverage if you build it up. Yeah, definitely not. So I'm just gonna go in with concealer to kind of spot conceal on those areas, but this looks very nice. So one of my all-time favorite concealers is the Collection Cosmetics Lasting Perfection Concealer in the lightest shade. I've talked about this for, I feel like at least a year now, maybe even a couple years. Before I got on the Tarte Shape Tape bandwagon, this was my like go-to concealer. Since this is a UK brand, I stocked up. I got three of these. It's only a few pounds there, and I usually have to order it on eBay in the US. So I stocked up on this stuff because I love it. It's light enough for me. It has really good coverage. It's moisturizing, doesn't cake up or anything. Blending this out with my usual concealer brush, the Morphe G38. So I'm pretty sure my London vlog is going up before this video. So you guys will have already seen some of the trip, but super drug was unreal. I was like in heaven. I'm gonna spread this concealer down the center of my face and then also use it to spot conceal on the acne that the foundation didn't cover up. This concealer doesn't set super fast, so you do have some time to work with it. So I didn't really get any kind of powder for my under eyes, so I'm just gonna use my normal Stargazer pressed powder. So even brands that we have in the US, like Revlon and Maybelline, they carry different kinds of products in other countries. Sometimes it's the same product, but they have different packaging, but I've never seen this powder in the US. This is the Matte Maker Mattifying Powder in the lightest shade, which is Classic Ivory 10. This looked super light, which is what kind of drew me to this. How does this open? What's happening here? I don't know if my brain is just not functioning right now, but I cannot get this open. Now I'm actually starting to get pissed. <laughs> What the heck? My hand is cramping. I'm gonna turn this off and literally go attempt to open this with like a tool. Hallelujah. I don't even know how I got this open. I was literally digging to get some kind of power tool to open this thing. I'm starting to think I might just be delusional right now. And it does look, ooh, it's light. Hell yeah. This is definitely helping to lighten it, which is very exciting that this is actually a light drugstore powder. Curious to see how this holds up throughout the day since I have a mattifying primer and powder on right now. Scared to put this lid back on. So let's do brows. I didn't get any new brow products. So I'm just gonna do my normal brow routine lately using the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil with the Ulta Brow Gel. I'm gonna do this off camera and then I'll be right back. If you wanna see how I do this on camera, I showed it in my everyday makeup routine video that just went up. So I will put that in a little eye over here if you missed that. All right, we've got the brows on. I didn't get any kind of eye primer, but I did pull my concealer up on top of my lid, so I think we should be good. Oh wait, do I wanna do eyes first or face? Let's finish off the face. I have a few different, actually I have a ton of face products I wanna try, like contour and bronzers and everything. I got this Barry M Feelin' Cheeky Sculpting Palette. It looks like there's a contour brighten, that is not a brightening color for my skin tone, and then a highlight over here. So this is the Barry M Illuminating Highlighter Palette. I'm definitely gonna be going in with this white shade. This is why I picked this up. So I think as a bronzer slash contour, I'm gonna try out this MUA Bronze Perfection Matte. This thing is freaking huge. This is like the size of my face. I think I just got a lot. Doesn't look too orangey. I did get a lot, but it's blending out really really easily. And the MUA brand, you can get at CVS now, but again, they had way more products at Superdrug than what we have. Blush, I have two different options. I got the Max Factor Cream Puff Blush in 10 Nude Mauve. This looked like a really nice neutral color, and that one looks like it has kind of a sheen to it. And then I also picked up the Rimmel Santa Rose Blush. I don't think we have this in the US. Ooh, this looks pretty. So this is more of like a rosy mauve kind of color. This one looks a bit more peachy. I think I'm gonna go in with this Max Factor one. We're gonna do the blush really quick and then Instacars. Ooh, oh, hell yeah. Very pretty, almost has like a pink kind of reflect to it. Blending out really nicely. Ooh, I like that. Pause, gonna get groceries. Okay, we're good on groceries. I looked in the bathroom mirror and yeah, the foundation is definitely a shade or two too dark. I don't know why it always looks so different in here. So like I said, I wanna try this highlighting palette. pretty, but I do feel like it's emphasizing some of the texture. Yeah. I can definitely see all of my pores right now. For eye primer, I'm just going to use my Revlon Colorstay Cream Shadow in 715. I feel like I could go without eye primer right now because I pulled my concealer up, but why not? So for my crease, I'm actually going to go in with this shade right here from that 
Feeling Cheeky palette. It looks like a warm kind of brown shade. I can't get over the finish of my face right now. For the amount of texture and acne I have on my skin right now, it looks extremely smooth. By the way, let's look at the time since I'm doing a check-in and my whole face makeup is done. It's 10.47 right now. So I had like five different eyeshadow products and palettes in my basket and then I eliminated it down to one just because I feel like I have so much eyeshadow. But this is the MUA Professional 6 shade palette in Rustic, Rusted Rusted Wonders. The cool thing about Superdrug is that they have testers out. Why doesn't our drugstore do that? I feel like you could totally cut down on the whole returning drugstore makeup thing in the US if you just had testers out. Go figure. So you can actually swatch the shades. So when I was swatching these, they felt super nice and pigmented. I almost want to do like a red smoky eye. Why is my camera flashing right now? I'm gonna start off by taking this shade. I'm just gonna use my finger. So this shade is pretty, but it's a little bit tricky to blend. Like it's not really spreading just kind of sticking to wherever I put it down. Before I go in with more of the shades from this thing, I'm gonna blend some matte shades into the crease to kind of smoke it out. I didn't get any matte eyeshadows, so I'm just gonna go in with my Pixie palette. This is the Itch Judy's Time Pixie palette, and the matte shades in here are beautiful. I've been really liking this thing. So I'm gonna take this shade right here and just kind of blend this into the crease. I'm pulling this kind of far in because I think I wanna do more of a halo eye. So then I'm gonna take this light pink shade right here and put that right on the center. Ooh, okay, that's exciting. Isn't it crazy to think that some people don't get joy from eyeshadow at all? I mean, this is like making my day right now. I want a bit more depth in the outer corner, so I'm gonna go in with the darkest brown shade right here. I'm just blending this in my outer V and then bringing it inwards a little bit. There was a standalone Pixie store on, can what was it called? Canberry Street, Canterbury? It was closed when I walked past it, but when I go back to London, Definitely want to hit that up just to make sure the pop is still going strong I'm just putting a little bit more of that right on the center that pink shade So I'm gonna blend some of those shadows on my lower lash line But first I'm gonna go in with some liquid liner for my waterline. This is the Catrice liquid metal gel eye pencil This I've been really liking for my waterline. It's what I wore when I was in London It stays on and it doesn't burn my eyes, which is difficult to find Catrice you can find at Ulta now So to blend out that lower lash line, I'm just gonna go back in with that dark brown shade and just kind of smudge out the black liner. My first thought when I was coming back to Seattle was that I'm excited for avocado toast. What am I doing? I wanna bring some of that red down below so even though it's more shimmery, it's all good. I'm just gonna take that same red shade and blend it with that brush. This is the Sedona Lace 904 brush, by the way. Put that right underneath the black to bring some of the red down there. I'm gonna take the white shade in this palette. Oh yeah. I think I like how these apply better with my finger. Yes, definitely. I'm gonna go in with my setting spray, trying out the Berry M Dewy Finish Mist and Fix Setting Spray. Let's see what kind of spritzer this has. Ooh. Ooh, I think I just like inhaled some. Okay, it looks like a nice mist rather than like a fire hose. I feel like it gave a bit more of a dew, but not super overpowering. I don't think I wanna do top eyeliner today. So I'm gonna put on some mascara and then pop on false lashes. I didn't get any false lashes when I was there, but if you wanna stay with the UK drugstore theme, you could go in with Eyelore lashes. So I'm just gonna try out the Pure 3D Silk Cruelty-Free Lashes. These are in the style Bombshell. Itching your face with foundation on is the worst. All right, I'm gonna put these on and I'll be right back. Okay, so falsies are on and I like these. They're dramatic, but they're still wispy. And I don't have any eyeliner on right now and I feel like it added a lot of kind of volume to my top lash line. The band is really nice feeling. I was literally thinking when I was putting these on for once how my eyes didn't burn. And then I straight up jabbed this eyeball with mascara. So pro tip, don't try and put on falsies when you don't know what day it is. So this I was super intrigued by. This is a liquid lipstick by MUA. It's the Velvet Color Enhanced Lacquer. And this is basically a primer. It says it's a matte lacquer to enhance lip color applied prior to the lip shade for increased color intensity. So I'm not sure if this has an actual white color to it or if it's just more of a lip primer, like a clear lip primer, but we're gonna find out. Okay, so it looks straight up white. This is exciting. This is white. This is crazy. So this is kind of a genius idea if this works, because if you think about it, it's kind of the same concept as applying concealer to your lips to kind of cancel out your natural lip color. And then whatever color that you put on top 
pops more. It's just like using white eye primer. I don't think I'm gonna put this right to the outside of my lips just because I don't wanna have any kind of white on the outside. I'm gonna try it with this Gosh liquid lipstick. This is one of the things that you guys tweeted me saying to try out. Liquid matte lips in the shade 007. And this has totally dried down matte. Since I don't think I'm gonna be using this other lipstick I got, let me swatch it for you. And this is by Gosh as well, and it's in the shade 001 Matte Baby Lips. It actually looks pretty pink. I don't think it looked that pink in the store. It smells kind of chemically. Okay, it feels like a gloss going on. Super moisturizing. Really pretty kind of muted wine color. I look wild right now with this top lip. It says liquid matte lip. So if this dries down matte, this is gonna be magical because right now it's looking super glossy and it literally feels like the most moisturizing liquid lipstick I've ever put on in my life. I'm gonna give this a couple minutes to see if it dries down because right now it's feeling very sticky. Okay, so if this one totally dries down, it takes a long ass time because it has been about four minutes since I put this on and it's still not totally dry down and it feels very sticky. So I think out of everything I tried, the only thing that I was a little bit disappointed by is the highlighting palette by Barry M. I think if you like the more kind of glittery, there's just something about this that totally emphasizes the texture on my cheeks. But if you like that more intense kind of glittery look, you might like this. We'll see how the face products hold up throughout the day, but off of first impressions, I like how pretty much all of my face products look right now. Just off of first application, my skin looks extremely smooth and kind of airbrushed right now. I like the Maybelline powder. I like that it's light enough and it actually kind of helped to lighten my face a bit. The blush was super pretty. The eyeshadows obviously look really nice. I just think you have to work with these a bit more than usual. They don't really blend out very easily. So yeah, I think out of everything, I'm most excited about the face products I used and this white liquid lipstick, which I'm definitely gonna try out with normal lipsticks. All right, I need to not be functioning in the world right now. I literally just tripped over a cord and it knocked down my ring light, my mic, the light back there, and all of my makeup brushes. I need to be in bed right now. So it's 4.05 in the afternoon. I have hit the wall. The wall has been hit. I am still going out to dinner, but my eyes are burning so bad right now from the lash glue that I need to wash off my face and just redo my makeup really quick. Everything's only been on for five hours, but I do want to wrap this up and do kind of a five hour quick check-in. I figured it's better than no check-in. You can see how it wears after a few hours. So for the amount of mattifying products I have on my face right now, I feel like I'm actually pretty oily only five hours in. Keep in mind that the lights definitely amplify it because it's bouncing off my face, but I was just snapping out in natural lighting and even there, my forehead looked pretty dewy. The thing I like is that my face makeup does look very nice. Literally, you can almost see no texture on my skin right now, which is very rare. It looks really good on the center of my face texture-wise. I just think I am a bit oily for only being on for five hours. I've eaten two meals and this lipstick is holding up really well. It hasn't really come off on the center of my lips at all. It does feel sticky though. It doesn't dry down. I feel like it's bled a tiny bit, but nothing bad. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you want to help support a YouTuber that you like, make sure you engage with their content because it really does help us out. If you comment and like, all those things do help out our channels. So I feel like some people don't realize that, but liking and everything really does help. So I love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.